Hey pen friends, welcome back to Ginger Peachy Pens. Um, I have a little emphasis on the little um, pen haul for you from AliExpress. Um, I have always had good experiences from AliExpress. So I ordered just a few things and um, yeah, so I'll show you real quick. First of all, this platinum pen. I love this little tin that it came in. It's a little Hello Kitty um, platinum meteor or it's sometimes called the shooting star. It just came with one, um, it came with one converter and I'll show you why there's another one in here in a second. Um, it's got a little camping scene on it, which is just cute. I love the little squirrel and the rabbit. There's another little rabbit and Hello Kitty's reading a book or writing in a journal. And um, I just thought it was really cute. And I had not tried one of these matte finish um, meteor shooting star pens. Um, these have the standard little platinum nib that comes on, like it's very similar to the one that comes on like the, um, the Plazier and the, you know, the, 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 the standard like inexpensive platinum pens. So this nib is smooth. I popped right in the black cartridge that it came with um, because I wanted to go ahead and test out the nib. Um, I like this matte finish on this pen a lot. Um, I don't always like matte finishes on things, but this one feels good. So, um, yeah, so here's this one and let me go ahead and open up the other one. It did not come in this box, but I'll show you. I, I just already got rid of the box, but this was a little set that is kitty cat themed. Um, I need to send one of these to my friend Deb who loves cats. <laughs> this is a gel pen. It's a 0.5 platinum pod. It's got a needle point gel pen, a needle point um, tip, and it writes really well, like really black, super, super nice. And it, it has like a grippy, um, a rubberized grip here, and then this cute little cat print. And this was in the, it was a set that also had this other platinum meteor shooting star, whichever one you want to call it, printed on. Um, I was concerned that these little images might come off and they could over time, I guess, but they don't feel like I can just scratch them off really easily. And again, the same little nib. This one doesn't have the little star on it like the other one does. And that one says 03. Does this one say a size? It does not. It just has the little star and the platinum logo. But I think they're the same. They look the same to me. So they're both like fine nibs and I have always had a great experience with these. I think this is my fifth and sixth meteors. They're so inexpensive. Like, um, I think this set was like $13 and I think this one was like 11 or $12 and it came with this tin and this is the converter for the other one. Um, these came in a little gift box that actually was printed with the cats, but I've already repurposed that box. So I didn't bring it out. So this was a fun little find and like I said, emphasis on the little. <laughs> the other thing that I bought was this tiny little fountain pen. So I had no idea that this pen was this small. I saw this pen in someone's Instagram post and I just like Googled it. Thankfully she had written like what it was. I can't even remember who it was, so I apologize. But, um, it was in a picture lined up with some other pens, so I knew it was small, but I had no idea it was this small. Look at this compared to the cap. Like, it is barely longer than the cap of the Meteor. Um, so I thought I would ink this with you, get it open. Um, like I said, I bought this one on AliExpress. I've also seen that Kirkspear Pen Realm sells this one. It is made by Wancher. Um, that's their logo right there, the flower. Um, in the box, this box just came really simple, like no logos or anything. Um, there is a cute, uh, eyedropper that has a measurement on it. That's kind of fun. And then if you pull this out, let's see. It is called a Wancher Pochico, I think. I'll, I'll write the description. So here is... Some of their branding but it doesn't say the name of the pen anywhere <laughs> like 
Look at the little instructions. So this is an eyedropper filler. Um, but I was I was saying Kirk Spear, a pen realm, sells these. And I know he will, like, tune your nib for you and stuff. So, um, or put a grind on it if you would like that. Look, y'all. <laughs> I'm dying at this. <laughs> it is so small. This pen is so small. <sighs> Look at this in my hand. It has um, a cute, the cute little Wancher logo right there on the nib. I have not tested this out yet. Here's the feed. And, I mean, look. Here's my finger. <laughs> this is, this is the, the size up to the second knuckle. Like, this is so small. So, it's like, it's smaller than my pinky finger. Yep. And let me see. Let me grab another pen to compare it with. Here's an Esterbrook SD. Again. Smaller than the cap. It might fit inside the cap. Well, it's got a clip on it, so it won't actually. But. <laughs> smaller than the SD cap. It, this is this is so small, so I don't even know how I'm going to be able to write with it, but it's so cute, and it was pretty inexpensive. I don't want to direct you away from Kirk Spear, um, because, you know, I would rather support him, obviously, but um, on AliExpress, it was really inexpensive, and uh, I just couldn't resist having this little tiny novelty in my collection. Like, I spent less than... I think 40 bucks on all of this stuff. So, um, <laughs> here we go. Um, I chose some Monteverde Gratitude Magenta, which is one of my favorite, favorite inks. Let's see if this says how much we can put in there. This shows filling that I that little middle section of the eyedropper up to the, the middle, which is would be two milliliters, I suppose. So we're going to try that. Oh no, I didn't even notice this. Go back on in there. There we go. All right, so this is what we're putting the ink into. <laughs> Okay, let's see how much I can get in here. All right, I've got about one and a half mils. You see that sort of in the eyedropper. Let's go with that. Ah. Uh, okay. So up to the threading, this holds like right at one mil, maybe a little less. So not a lot, because I don't want to get it on the threads there where it like squooshes out, you know. So here we go. Oh no. Well, here we are. Oh no. Okay, maybe I put too much. I think I put too much in there already. All right. Let me wipe this off. Can use a, oh. Can use this to get some of this back out of here. Okay. And I'm going to use a Q-tip to clean up these threads a little bit. And I suppose what could happen is I could like load this pen up and then let the ink get into the feed. And once there's ink in the feed, I could add a little more ink to the barrel. So let me see how deep this goes in here. I think that's about the amount of ink I want. So it is not much. Um, you can see this is only about halfway full. And we're going to see what happens now when I this up. You can see I got some magenta on the threads there. For my taste, I think I might 
like to get one of these if, I mean, look, I'm not going to use this a ton, probably, but um, I would prefer not to be able to see dark ink like that in my pink pen. So, I mean, this is on me. I, I should have known that because I've done this with these kind of pink pens a ton of times. All right, let's see. So I should, I should maybe not have gotten pink, but the pink was just so cute. And truthfully, I mean, for what I paid for it, if it just sits on display in my office as a cute little thing, like it is not a loss in any way. Okay, here it is. Let me see if I can get it writing. I might have to take a little, oh, maybe it's already writing already. So it does post here. So if you're gonna write with it unposted, this is what you're working with. <laughs> and I'll say, I think I have, like I have kind of bigger hands for a woman, but, but, but smaller than a man's hand. Like I don't have really big hands, kind of medium sized hands. So there's that. It does friction post. Um, and that feels, I don't, oh, let's see. I don't know how solid that will be because even then, even then it doesn't sit on your, on my, you know, the outside of my hand. So here's where I re-inked some pens the other day. Ah, sorry. Hold your horses here. Bring you down a little bit. There we go. All right, so I believe this is called the Pochico, but if I'm wrong, I'll put that on the screen. This is the, ooh, this nib is nice and smooth. Pochico, I don't think I had an option in nib sizes, but this is kind of like a fine, like a, probably between a Western and a Japanese fine. Um, this is in pink and this ink is Monteverde Gratitude Magenta. And oh my goodness, this is really nice. <laughs> it is okay. I obviously would not want to write pages with this. But for jotting little notes, it's not bad at all. It is fitting, like it is when I kind of grip it like this, it is resting on, you know, a solid part of my hand right here. So. If you're the kind of person who holds your pen out like this, which might be more proper, then you might not have it resting on your hand. But if you kind of bring it in a little bit, that's not terrible. And this nib, I would think this, I think this is a number five nib probably. Let me see. I can reach a Franklin Kristoff. And I'm not saying it's a Yovo nib because I don't, I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't know. But here's a comparison with a, yeah, I mean, it's not a Yovo nib, but here's a comparison with a Yovo number five nib. So it's essentially a number five nib. So I'm not confirming like what, you know, who makes this nib. Because I don't know. I didn't do that research. I apologize. So anyway, <laughs> that's my adorable, uh, my adorable fountain pen plus one gel pen haul. And I guess I could quickly show you these if you're interested. I'm not going to do a lot here because you've seen these before. But this is the Meteor or Platinum. cat it's got you know I find these nibs to be a little bit 
broader than a um, pilot fine nib, but but thinner than a pilot medium, finer than a pilot medium. And here is Hello Kitty. And that platinum black ink is nice. It's not the darkest black ink. Um, but as a comparison, here is this 0.5 pod gel pen. I'm sorry, I know that it's not focusing on the paper. So it does a little bit of like that sort of railroading but overall, a nice, smooth gel pen. I've used it a few times already on other papers. I don't love that they put that barcode right there. But, hey, super cute little pen. It's just kind of living uh, by my side table in my living room. So, anyway, here's my cute little um, AliExpress haul. And my little uh, Inca Pet bunny that I just thought would be cute right there. This is a cute haul, y'all. So here's this Hello Kitty, the cat meteor, and the gel pen, and this little bitty launcher pen. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, y'all can correct me, I'm sorry. So anyway, let me know what you think. Have you thought about picking up uh, this tiny pen? I've seen Kirk Spear advertise it a couple of times now. Um, since I bought it elsewhere. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Would you buy something like this? Would you carry it? Um, it feels like it closes pretty securely. So like, I might be brave enough to toss it in my pocket or to find a little tiny pouch I could slip it in and put it in my pocket. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for hanging with me and uh, have a great day. Bye.